All right, in this lesson, we're going to reflect triangle ABC across the x-axis on the coordinate plane. When performing reflections, there is a quick and efficient way to determine the new coordinates of each point. First, we identify the current coordinates of our triangle's vertices. Point A is at negative 7, 2, point B is at negative 2, 7, and point C is at 8, 2. After identifying our current coordinates, we apply the reflection rule, which when reflecting across the x-axis, the x-coordinates stay the same, but the y-coordinates change to their opposites. So let's apply this transformation to each point. Point A is now negative 7, negative 2, point B is now negative 2, negative 7, and point C is now 8, negative 2. Now, if we plot these new points and connect them, we can see that our reflected triangle is a perfect mirror image across the x-axis. It fits exactly into place while maintaining its shape and size. One important thing to remember is that a reflection is a rigid transformation. This means that the size and the shape of the figure will not change. The side lengths, angles, perimeter, and area will all remain the same. Therefore, the new figure is congruent to the original. If you perform a reflection and your figure is not congruent to the original, that's a sign that a mistake was made in plotting the new coordinates. Another thing that we should notice about our reflection is that each point of the original figure and the new figure are the same distance to the x-axis. Point A was two units above the x-axis, now it is two units below. Point B was seven units above, now it is seven units below. And point C was two units above, and now it is two units below. In a reflection, each point moves the same distance from the axis, just in the opposite direction. All right, I hope you learned a lot about reflecting across the x-axis. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you back soon for another math tutorial.